What's up guys? Today I just wanted to make a quick video on how I uh, edit my uh, fishing videos. I still want to make like like movie type videos but I also want to start making like informative videos and I know a lot of people sometimes ask me uh, how do you edit your fishing videos and first of all I just wanted to say the the equipment I use I use a, a GoPro 9 and I use a five uh, session. I've actually had this uh, five session for quite a few years and I used to try and make videos with it but the problem is is that there's no internal battery that you can swap out when you're out there. It's just you charge it, you charge the whole thing and it only lasts like an hour and uh, this one you can swap them out. I, I keep like five on me every day and uh, I used to have the GoPro 7, but the bat I was having trouble with, uh, there was a little tab that would break off because the battery would, it would get stuck in there and you couldn't really get it out. Uh, this one, it's, it comes out real easily and I haven't had any trouble with it. And uh, this 5, so I, I keep the 9 on my chest, on the chesty, and then this 5 session... I usually put on this, uh, this, or I always put on this uh, tripod I have, and it breaks in two so I can keep it in my backpack. And with the battery only lasting like an hour, I usually just use it for underwater releases and stuff. But every now and then I'll put it on the tripod and set it up for as long as the battery does last. But one day I figured out I could, uh, attach this uh, portable battery pack to it while it was still in the the case that goes on the tripod so that helped me out a lot and uh yeah and uh, people also ask me sometimes how do i i take picture good pictures when i'm out there by myself and i have this uh the selfie stick which the phone is actually on right now because it doubles as a tripod well yeah i got the selfie stick like real cheap and i'd like it too because when you take those selfies without a stick it some people say it makes the fish look smaller but i think it makes the fish look bigger and it's just unrealistic of the actual size so i like to get my selfie stick and really pull that thing out and make it look as if someone else is taking the picture and but now i want to so that's all the equipment i use now i want to get into how i actually uh, edit the videos and I, I will say I do use a computer because uh, my phone, some people use the phone, but I've noticed when I'm trying to do all kinds of stuff on it, my phone overheats. And I think uh, you really just need a computer if you're going to be making like longer videos, like, like 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes long. So, yeah, and I... Uh, I know some people try and make a whole video off the GoPro app, but what I've learned is, I don't know, I tried it when I used to do it on the 5 session, I noticed it, it doesn't do what I want it to do to actually make a video, so what I've learned is I don't mess with that GoPro app, I've learned that it all boils down to the SD card, and I have quite a few of these, uh, this one is... A 128 now the biggest one I have is a, a 528 and that thing will hold like 20 20 hours of uh, 1080p I think uh, if you shoot in 4k which I don't like to really do anymore because it takes too long to upload and like on that 5 or no it's a 512 gigabyte that thing will only film like 10 20 maybe 12 hours in 4k so yeah i hold everything on these sd cards and that's how like i my phone i notice like some people have phones that don't even you can't even take out the sd card but my phone does so like i can shoot on my phone i can shoot on these cameras and i can swap sd cards and i can put them in my computer and then that's where i start to edit so I'll show that to you here in a second. Okay, so when you buy an SD card, you get this adapter so that you can put it into the computer.
and uh, you do use a, a GoPro app, but it's not the same one on your phone. The one on your phone is called Quick now. This one is called GoPro Player on the computer. And you're going to open what's on the SD card. Let's go. Okay, so there's a... Here's a clip from October 8th. Oh, that one must have been deleted. And make sure you time and date your GoPro when you first turn it on because it makes it a lot easier when you're looking for a video if you know the time and date of it. Okay, here's one from the 24th. Takes a minute to open. So this is the only thing I use this GoPro app for is to view the video and to pull a clip from it. Cause here, what I do is uh, I trim little clips. So, Let's stop it right there and then you're gonna want to save that clip let's just title it I don't know we'll just give it some weird title and this is what takes forever is pulling each clip out piece by piece, clip by clip, and then saving it. Okay, so it's saved to my computer now. We're gonna exit out, and then, oops, pull up uh, videos. All right, so it's in the videos, but what we have to do now, that app is free. Uh, this app though the movie maker is the one i use it was a one-time charge of 9.99 so we're going to open that up and then it's a blank screen and you're going to add clips from your computer which are in the videos here so let's just pick one, Isleta Bass. And then let's add one more. Uh, the smallmouth. Okay, so now you just have to make sure your clips are in the order you want them. And, uh,. You can, let's click on it. Now this gives you all kinds of tools. You can add text or other videos or pictures into it. And you can change the volume of the clip. Now what I like to do is when I add music, let's see, go back. You hit edit soundtrack. And then you can insert music from your computer. But I've had trouble with that before. So what I do now is I hit voiceover and I I go to YouTube, but not YouTube music. I go, or I mean, not YouTube, but I go to YouTube music and I'll play, I search uh, free copyright music to make sure that anything I use isn't going to get a copyright claim. And then I'll play it as loud as I can on my phone and hit the record button at the same time. And then just stop it whenever you're done playing, whenever the scene's done that you want the music in. And then you just go back once it's all done, you just save it, title it. And I won't do it because it, it takes a minute to save, even if the project is short. But yeah, and then you just, when you go to YouTube, it gives you the, the option to... Uh, upload 
it'll when it gives you that option you just pick from the the videos on your computer and once you save it on that program it'll be in your videos right here but yeah okay guys thanks for uh i know it's uh it's gonna when you go to do it yourself it may be a little more complicated than that but i want to give you a general idea of yeah the fact that it's better to just get a get used to using these sd cards instead of just trying to do it all on your phone and uh, the app i use give you an idea of uh, the kind of apps you can use to put clips together and stuff and maybe some of the equipment i mean basically all you really need is one camera and i mean the seven i've seen other gopro sevens that that work just fine it's just the ones i was getting the battery wouldn't come out very easily and i know people use the eight and now the tens out i don't even know all the specs on that but yeah i'm pretty happy with the nine and uh I mean, basically, as long as you have some kind of camera that uh, takes SD cards, I'd say you're good to go. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching, guys. I want to do uh, more videos like this, so if you like them, um, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button and uh, comment any questions you have or videos you'd like to see in the future. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more videos and that's going to do it for today. I'm going to try and have this uh, video uploaded by tonight. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Hopefully the next one's out, out in the field doing some fishing. Later.